Hi guys, my name is Andrew and from what you know from my previous movies I'm trying snacks from around the world and now I have the opportunity to try snacks from Norway the first snack I'm gonna try it's called Kick the packaging is actually nice and let's see how it goes it looks like this it looks like a bar let's have a bite Mm. It's actually good, but it has a confusing taste, but it's actually good. If I need to give it a grade, probably I'll give it a 7. Another snack I have here, it's called Melkerul. So let's see how it goes. This is how it looks like. It looks like a small drop drops. Mmm. It's a good chocolate. It tastes milk chocolate. It's sweet but not very sweet which for me is great if I need to give it a grade between 8 and 10 definitely to be 8 which means it's really great from my point of view another snack Stratos well probably I'm gonna read to you something that it's it uh, stood on it uh, Med chocolate bobler some smelterlet potungen, which in English means with chocolate bubbles that are melting on your tongue. They are melting light on. Your, uh, they are me melting easily on your tongue. Let's open it and see how it is. This is how it looks like. Let's have a bite. Hmm. Mmm, it's actually good. It's airy and it's also. It's actually melting on your tongue. That's surprisingly because a lot of sweets you buy don't have publicity, but they're not doing what they were supposed to do. But this one is doing it and it's melting on your tongue. Mmm, really good chocolate. Really, extremely good. Definitely worth its price. Another chocolate, probably. I'm gonna try. It's called Troika. Let's see how it is. <laughs> it looks like this, like a chocolate bar. So let's have a bite. Mmm. Mmm. It has uh, it has more than one flavor. As you can see, it has more layers. It's about three layers in there. But it's actually mm, it's good and confusing in the same time because you have all three flavors mixing and makes you a bit uncertain. But uh, if I need to give it a grade, it's between 7 and 8. It's a good chocolate. Yeah, definitely worth to try it. Another snack I'm gonna try, it's called Lohen Green. As you can see, it looks like a dog treat in the outside. So, uh, let's see how it is in the inside. Yeah, definitely it looks like a dog treat, like a small bone. <laughs> so let's take a bite on this. Mmm. <sighs> mmm. Inside, it has two layers. 
this white quiver which is it's actually really really good and melted in mm. but it's a bit too sweet for me but definitely good mm. definitely try it if you are in Norway another snack I'm gonna try this one as I heard is very popular in Norway it's quick lunch which in translation it will be a quick lunch <laughs> obviously so let's eat our quick lunch this is how it looks like so let's take one mm. it's actually very good it's a waffle with uh, chocolate on top it's crispy a bit not too much the chocolate is melting in your mouth also on your hand so <laughs> be careful when you eat it and uh, this one mm, this one definitely a nine from me nine it is which probably is the best grade I ever gave for a snack and because I was too sweet till now I'm gonna try got blended fra malaco Good blended in English means good blended. Also, also we have super sour, which in English means super sour. So let's see how sour it is. Yeah, they look like this, like a small, probably Coca-Cola bottle. Different colors. Hmm. Huh? It's chilly and it's very it's very sour so if you're into sour things you should definitely go for it I'm not so fond of them but uh, I mean sour things but uh, if you are into sour things this is your kind of treat and another shape see let's see how this one is mm. This one has a bit of def different taste from the one before. It's a. Uh, it's not as sour as that other one, but it has a different flavor, which I. It's hard to describe. Maybe a bit of, I think, mint. Maybe I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, if you're into sour things, definitely go for them. I you have it like this. Yeah, good. Not very bad sour. But as I said before, I'm really not into sour things. So, let's go for the next one. Mm. 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 It's chewy. But not bad at all. Probably. And since I'm not into sour things, I'll give it a 7. Another one is also kick. But uh, this time I'll have a bit of lemon flavor. So let's see how this lemon flavor goes. <laughs> I went from sweet to sour now. one is a bit more harder to open but yeah this is how it looks like like the first one hmm but surprisingly I don't feel any lemon in it hmm it's not bad but it's not sour at all which probably is the characteristic of lemon it needs to be sour so it's not bad but it's not sour so 
I'm a bit disappointed because it's uh, supposed to have lemon flavor on the packaging. But uh, yeah, it's good. But for the disappointment, I'll give it between a six and a seven. Another snack I'm gonna try is Holy. From what I'm reading on the package, it is Nihet, Norsk Melke Chocolade met Salte Poly Pinote, which in English means news. It's a Norwegian milk chocolate with uh, salted peanuts. Salted peanuts. It looks like this. And as you can see, it has a really friendly guy on the packaging. So let's open it and see how it tastes like. It's chocolate, so... Mmm. Mmm. You can feel the peanuts. It's chocolate with peanuts. You think nothing can go wrong with it. The chocolate is good. But I'm not sure about the combination with those type of peanuts. Not bad, but you have a you have the peanuts dominating the flavor, which I don't think is good. I think the star of the show it should be the chocolate. So it's not bad, but you can feel a very strong flavor of peanuts. It's a chocolate that melts. It's a good treat. It's a good treat. Probably I'll give it a seven if I have to. Hmm. I heard about this one. Pepe Original Panda. This one is uh, licorice. If you heard of it, it's a typical Scandinavian treat. And I will see how it goes. It will be a probably, yeah. This is how it looks like, like a jelly almost, but. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It, it's not really bad, but it's a very confusing taste. Not my thing, but uh, if I can say it, I'll definitely not shop this in the future. Definitely not. It's um, it's different from other snacks you had before. So, uh, therefore, I think it's uh, it's not for me. If I give it a grade, if I'm supposed to, from one to ten, I'll give it a because I'm kind to them, I'll give it a 5. So, it has a, a chance to... Another snack I'm gonna try is Bamse Mums. As you can see on the packaging, it has two cute bears. Friendly bears. So probably this is the kind of snack you want to shop for your children. As you can see, it looks like this one. It's a small, cute bear. Let's see how it tastes like. Mmm. It's um, it's good, but it has a kind of a sticky consistency, which is more like jelly. Mmm. It's jelly. It's it's something between chocolate and chewing gum. A good chewing gum. So, no, 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 it's marshmallow, marshmallow, I think it's marshmallow inside it, if I think about it, so, it's a chocolate with marshmallow, definitely one thing your child would, would love to have, so, um, well, I guess that's about it, 
one thing before I'm uh, gonna leave to mention a very important mention is that sweets in Norway are very expensive so if you have the opportunity to go to Norway visit Norway you should look on your budget before you buy them because they're really expensive in comparison to rest of Europe so but they're definitely good so you should try them well that's all for today don't forget to subscribe don't forget to uh, ask me questions if you want I will leave the email on my uh, comment section so uh, give me a comment give me a like give me a share so see you next time it was a pleasure goodbye